two projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is eyeball based cursor movement. Introduction of the project. The rapid growth of computer technology underscores the necessity of making computers accessible to everyone, ensuring that advancements benefit all the members of the society. Many disabled individuals cannot use standard input devices like mouse and keyboards due to physical disabilities, which hinders their ability to interact with the computers. The project addresses the need for an alternative means of communication and interaction with the computers, particularly for those with disabilities enabling their inclusion in the digital world. The project aims to create a system allowing people with disabilities, especially those with limited hand mobility, to interact with the computers solely through their eye movements, offering them greater independence. The project's innovation lies in replacing traditional computer mouse with the eye movements as primary input method making computer usage effective and accessible for paralyzed or physically challenged individuals. Objective of the project. The project's primary objective is to empower individuals with disabilities, particularly those with limited hand mobility, to effectively interact with the computers by controlling the cursor through eye movements. Utilizing OpenCV-based algorithms, the project aims to achieve precise and stable pupil position detection within the eye, facilitating accurate cursor control. Through eye-based cursor control, the project strives to enhance the independence, inclusion, and equitable participation of individuals with impairments in the digital world. Ultimately, the project seeks to provide a user-friendly and accessible means of computer interaction, specifically designed to cater to individuals with disabilities who cannot use traditional input devices. To implement the project, we need hardware and software requirements. Coming to hardware requirements, we need Operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Coming to software requirements we need to implement the project, we have designed various steps in the flow of work. The first step is importing the packages. This is initial step where we import necessary software packages and libraries that provide the tools and functions needed for the project. We imported CV2 which is OpenCV. It is a powerful computer vision library that provides various tools and functions for image and video processing. OpenCV is used for tasks like face detection, eye detection and image processing. It helps to locate and track the user's face and eyes in the webcam, which is essential for accurate eye-based cursor control. The next library which is imported is PyAuto GUI. PyAuto GUI is a Python library for automating GUI interactions. It allows us to simulate mouse and keyboard actions programmatically. In this project, PyAuto GUI is used to control the computer's cursor and simulate mouse clicks. When the user blinks their eyes and performs a specific eye movement, PyAuto GUI is employed to move the cursor accordingly and performs actions like clicking and selecting the options. The next step is opening the webcam. After importing the required packages, the project typically involves accessing the computer's webcam this step initializes the camera and prepares it for capturing video or images in real time. The webcam serves as the input source for eye tracking. Detecting the eyeball. This module involves using computer vision techniques to detect and locate the user's eyes within the video stream from the webcam. This includes face detection followed by eye detection within the detected face region. Moving the head according to the concern. Once the system has identified the user's eyes, it involved tracking the movement of the user's head to ensure accurate eye tracking. This includes adjusting the cursor's position based on the user's head orientation to keep the cursor within the user's field of view. Selecting the option by blinking the eyes. This module is the core of the project. It involves interpreting the user's eye movements such as blinking as input commands. For example, the system may be programmed to register as a blink, a blink as a click or select action allowing the users to interact with the on-screen elements like buttons or menus. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder which contains source code files. This is the code folder of the project and this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created this windows bat file. We have to double click on it to execute the project. So here we can see that webcam has detected the eyes and the mouth for mouse control. Now we will open a website for showing the demo of the mouse control. 
now we will do the mouse control using the eyes before that we need to understand the actions that has to be performed for mouse control and the actions are we have to open the mouth for activating or deactivating the mouse control and we have to squint the eyes for activating or deactivating the scrolling and we have to wink the right eye for right click left eye for left click moving the head for scrolling or the cursor movement so now we will control the mouse using the eyes for that we have to activate the mouse so i'm opening my mouth we can observe that mouse has been activated so i'll move my head towards right side so that cursor will move towards right side you can observe that cursor is moving right side now i'll move the cursor towards left side so i'm moving my head towards left side you can observe that cursor is moving towards left side now we will do scrolling for that i'll squint my eyes we can see that scroll mode is on now we can do scrolling so i'm moving my head towards down you can observe that page is being scrolled when i'm moving my head down and now we'll stop scrolling for that i have to squint my eyes again you can see that scroll mode is off now we will do the right click for that i have to wink my right eye here i'm winking my right eye you can see that right click has been done and now we will do the left click you can see that left click is done in this way we can control the mouse using the eyeballs now i'm closing the webcam conclusion of the project the project has achieved its primary goal by creating a system that allows people with disabilities to interact with the computers effectively using their eye movements This successful implementation means that individuals who may have limited or no use of their hands can still use computers independently. The project's use of advanced algorithms for tasks like significantly improving how accessible computers are for individuals with disabilities. These algorithms ensure that the system can accurately and reliably track a user's eye movements, which is crucial for effective cursor control. By providing a means for disabled individuals to interact with the computers more easily and independently the project has the potential to greatly improve their overall quality of life being able to engage with the digital world effectively opens up opportunities for communication education work and entertainment that might otherwise be limited in conclusion this project is a significant step forward in making technology more inclusive and accessible for all individuals regardless of their physical abilities It aligns with the broader societal goal of creating an information society where everyone can participate fully and equally in the digital age, bridging the gap between technology and disability. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.